What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I am Oliver Mack. Welcome to Oliver Rants. And in this video, we got to talk about some more ratchetness. Yes, ratchetness going on at a McDonald's. Of course, you've seen it time and time again. Probably, I don't know, maybe y'all don't partake in those type of videos, but I do a lot. So I've seen it time and time again where we have people acting unruly, acting crazy in McDonald's. People have been shot, and not McDonald's, people have, uh, not just McDonald's, people have been shot in fast food restaurants because they ain't get enough barbecue sauce. They've been disputes over orders and people have been harassed and, and people have been assaulted and killed behind fast food orders. I don't know what it is about fast food and I'm going to say black people because it's another black person in this video. I don't know what it is about fast food. Black people just love their fast food. I mean, fast food is just the, the worst thing you could possibly ingest. But for some reason, black people are so drawn to it. I mean, you see the, the marketing campaigns, the marketing campaigns, you know exactly what audience they're targeting. Like they want black people because they know black people is going to eat the food. So anyway, let me let's get into this video. Check it out. All right, so this is this is from Twitter, of course. You know, I, I, I find all these crazy videos on Twitter. It's, it's absolutely crazy, but uh, let's check it out. Oh, they threw something. People are like, let me get out of here. Wow. Throw it back at, okay. And she threw it back at her. She's trying to throw the... She's trying to throw the ladies' bag. Come on, man. You're just picking up everything. Like, no, nah, I'm going to throw this. I'm going to throw, throw anything I can get my hands on. This is crazy. Okay, and the person working behind the counter isn't right either. Okay, it looks like, hold on, let me see. It looks like something was thrown at her. Let's see. Yeah. Well, maybe she was going to throw it at her and then it got deflect. No, let me see. That's, that's, no, yeah, I think something was. So the person behind the counter threw something at her. And I don't know if that started this whole thing. Probably not. She probably was unruly. But, yeah, this, <laughs> this is ratchetness right here. I don't know what, what city this is out of, but... This is definitely Ratchet. We, we're, we're in Ratchetville, USA right here. But, yeah, these people... <laughs> I'm going to just play it in the background without sound so you guys can just see it while I talk. But, yeah, this is this is craziness. You got... They're running out. They're like, I'm not about to be a part of that. But, it, oh, my God. What, I don't even know what that was. I guess it's something that holds the napkins or cups or whatever. And it gets thrown back at her. This, this is your job. Like, I don't know in, in, in what... Um, what decade or, or what era that <laughs> people just started fighting customers back. Usually we wouldn't have, we wouldn't see a lot of these altercations because the people that work at the restaurants or at the retail establishments, they would be actually trying to deescalate the situation as much as possible, but not anymore, especially with these young people. They don't care. They, they're just like, okay, you come at me, I'm going to come at you. It doesn't matter if I'm at work or not. It's about to go down. We about to fight. We about to we about to handle business because I don't really care about this job. So you know this person right here, the person behind the counter, she about to lose her job. I think that's a she. It looks like a she. So she about to lose her job. That's probably nothing's gonna happen to the lady that was throwing stuff uh, with the. I think it's a blue skirt. Nothing's about to happen to her. She's just about to you know walk on and go about her, her merry life. But it's just crazy that. We have these situations that happen at fast food restaurants. Like, is it really that serious? Is it? You you tell me in the comment section. Is fast food really that serious? Is it enough to risk going to jail over? Is it enough to risk your 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 safety over? You could be cut and bruised. Is is that is that enough? Is fast food enough for that? I don't think so. I think fast food. A lot of times it's disgusting. Of course, you got some some good fast food restaurants out there. I mean, Taco Bell is pretty good, even though they sell kangaroo meat. But, um, you know, but is it really that good? No, I don't think so. 
I think these people are just they they a lot of people they walk around with anger just stored up inside them all day, all night and they have such a short, short fuse. It's like they're a, they're a, a, a bomb just waiting to explode. So as, as soon as somebody ignites that fuse, they just go off. And all the anger, all the frustration, all the resentment that they have, it just explodes on whoever just set them off. It doesn't matter who it is. She could be mad at a baby daddy. She could be mad at a, a, a biological daddy. She could be mad at her kids. She could be mad at her mom. She could be mad at anybody. But if somebody sets off that fuse, she's going to go off on them because it's it's already in there. And, and we got to we got to do away with that. You know, we got to do away with storing up that anger, storing up that frustration. If you have issues, get that stuff out, get it out, seek counseling or talk to somebody at least like always talk to somebody. And instead of just 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 trying to dump, like actually find a solution for your problem. So all this stuff that you're you're building up is just unresolved things that are just festering inside you. And if you can actually find a solution to some of those problems, then maybe you wouldn't have all this anger and resentment that's stored up. But we see this all the time. I wish things could be better. I wish we didn't have to see these these videos. I wish I didn't have to see angry people doing these things, hurting each other. It, it's just not right for our society. It's not good. And, and I don't like it. I don't. I don't I report on it because sometimes it's funny, but I also want people to understand. I want people to to actually look in the mirror and see what they're doing so we can stop this. Like that's the only way you solve problems in, in this world. Like you have to admit that the problem exists. So if if more people see this video, especially black people see this video. Hey, look, this is what we look like to the world. Right. We see these videos all the time and a lot of time they're black people. So. This is how people see us. So you can't blame them for the negative stereotypes. You can't blame them for thinking a certain negative way about black people because this is our representation. And we got to stop it. That's it. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. Please hit the like button, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Visit the, uh, visit the links in the description section so you get links to my social media and also to my merch store. Uh, you get this cool shirt. It says 2A all day. That's right. Strapped and ready for anything that, that pops off. Uh, thank you so much. All right. Catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.